Welcome to the Beast Rider Podcast. I am your host, Brian Sakamoto, and today we're going to be discussing the San Francisco 49ers upcoming free agents. Now, the 49ers are on a buy, so it gives us a little bit more time to kind of reassess the team moving forward as we prep for next season. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the upcoming free agents. You guys know, if you follow my podcast, that I'm a big supporter of Fred Warner. I think he needs to be extended. I list in the description below multiple podcasts for you guys to follow and update on what's going on in my analysis and why Fred Warner may not even be there next year simply because of what happened to DeForest Buckner. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Go ahead and watch the podcast. I also break it down with the analytics games in terms of what other linebackers are getting, what we like to call comparables in the real estate market. It's the comparables in the free agent market where Fred Warner is being undervalued. And I go in detail and in depth and break it down brick by brick. Okay, but of course, Fred Warner is going to be the number one priority. But aside from him, who do I think should be the next one up, right? The next one to be sought after. And with so many upcoming free agents, you kind of have to pick and choose, especially with the salary cap going from 198.2 million, dropping it down to 175 due to COVID. And when you take that into account, I look at two players. One is Kyle Juszczyk. And the other is K1 Williams. And the reason I say those two players, as opposed to like maybe someone like left tackle Trent Williams on the offense side of the ball, or a guy like Jason Verrett on the defense side of the ball, it comes down to injuries, it comes down to longevity and durability, and over the course of the long run, if you're going to look at the team moving forward, I think it's better and safer bets to go with Kyle Juszczyk and K1 Williams, who are going to be cheaper and become a cheaper alternative than the other two players and get the most bang for your buck. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about both of those players. So why Kyle Juszczyk and why K1 Williams? Well, both players are considered afterthoughts, yet both players are valued most in what? Situational football. And Kyle Juszczyk signed a four-year $21 million contract, which is not a lot of money considering. Even though he is a fullback, they can use him in multiple different ways. I'll get into that in a little bit later. And then As far as K. Wall Williams, he signed a three-year, $8.9 million contract extension after signing as a 2017 free agent. So, those are some of the parameters and reasons why I think you should re-sign both those players. But let's talk about Kyle Juszczyk first. Let's focus on him. What does he do? Well, he opens up the playbook for Kyle Shanahan. He's an extra blocker in the run game. He's an extra wide receiver coming out of the flat. He freezes linebackers off play-action pass. He forces defenses to have the need for a strong outside linebacker who can cover on the wheel routes. And last but not least, he's the fullback being the undervalued position that it is, becoming obsolete. He can be a decoy and a focal point of a game plan, of a game plan, excuse me, because you have to focus on the game plan when you're getting ready to play the San Francisco 49ers because you never know what you're getting from Kyle Juszczyk. What you know is you're getting an X factor, which I said in the Super Bowl run that he was my dark horse for Super Bowl MVP because again he's considered an afterthought no one's really giving him hype or love and no one's really talking about him yet he's valued most in goal line situations he's always in there and so when you have a guy like Kyle Juszczyk that can do so many different things and provides a different skill set than any other player on the 49ers roster he's worth the money that you're gonna shell out to him so he's coming up due for a contract. He is 30 years old. And when you take that into account, when he's upcoming free agent at age 30, that's when NFL careers start to take a decline. However, Kyle Juszczyk's touches haven't been very many. They use him majority of the time in passing situations. He has 33, 33 catches his first year, 30 his second year in San Francisco, 20 last year, and then 10 this year. So you can see the decline in production based on the number of targets that he's getting or lack of targets that he's getting. All right. So I believe Kyle Juszczyk should be a top priority for Kyle Shannon to resign because let's face it, if you take Kyle Juszczyk out of San Francisco, who's going to be the fullback? Are they just going to go 11 wide? Or sorry, not 11 wide, 11 personnel with it, which is three wide receivers. Are you going to make some tight end play that H-back tight end position or H-back fullback position? I don't know. Time will tell. Can you use a wishbone anymore? Can you do all these different schematics where you can kind of have Kyle Juszczyk lined out in the flat and then coming out of the flat and lined up wide and five wide, which adds another dimension to the defensive game plan where they have to 
account for? These are questions that are becoming apparent as the season goes on because Kyle Juszczyk, like I said, does so many different things for the 49ers offense that it would be a huge blow if they lose Kyle Juszczyk. All right, now let's talk about Kwon Moons. What does he bring to the table? Well, he was, a, like I said, he was a 2017 free agent addition. He opens up the playbook for Robert Sala. He's a pass rush presence in terms of blitzing from the linebacker slot. We've seen it in today's NFL. As you know, I cover all 32 NFL teams. So you see guys like Chauncey Gardner-Johnson from the New Orleans Saints. You see guys like Pittsburgh Steelers' Mike Hilton. They all blitz from the linebacker nickelback slot. And they also add another dimension as a run defender. So typically in today's NFL, you kind of need that hybrid slot cornerback who can sustain those hits and take those hits and take on blockers and take on tackles at times in order to make the run fit for that scheme on that play worthy. All right. And k Williams does so much, um, not only as an extra box defender versus the run, but he's also sound in coverage. I mean, that's the main thing why they signed him, right, is for pass coverage ability. And from the slot position, I think if you ask any defensive back coach, they will say that's harder position than playing boundary corner. And the reason for that is because you have to know where your help is. You have to know where the linebackers are playing their splits. You have to know what the kind of coverage you're in on the back end of the defense. And then you also have to know where that boundary cornerback, who is to your right or to your left, depending on where you line up, how they're playing their respective zone. All right. So getting back to K1 Williams, he adds an extra dimension, just like Kyle Juszczyk, an extra skill set that no 49ers player on their current roster possesses. I think it would be a huge blow for them if they lost K1 Williams as well as Kyle Juszczyk. So you can kind of see how the two go together. All right. Well, that'll be it for to me. That'll be it for Timmy. That'll be it for me. If you liked what I had to offer, please hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, my social media outlets are also located in the bio in YouTube as well as everything else. So thank you for tuning in. Again, I included descriptions of my earlier podcast because I know you guys were asking for that. So every podcast, I will connect the dots with the podcast that I'm doing, which is the one on K. Wall Williams right now and Kyle Juszczyk. And I'll include kind of tidbits of earlier ones so you guys can kind of keep up to date on my analysis and insights. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy Sunday fun day as the 49ers hit their bye week and we'll get ready for next week. Take care. Have a good day. Beast Rider. Out.